Trisha Paytas forgives David Dobrik, Kim Kardashian gets restraining order, and Corinna Kopp makes a million dollars. All of that and a lot, lot more, but first, if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we'd really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin the Inform Overload Weekly Roundup. So first things first, let's talk about what's happening this week in celebrity news. Kim Kardashian has had to file a restraining order against a man who has allegedly been stalking her. Court filings made on her behalf say that this man has been involved in a few very unsettling incidents surrounding Kim. Apparently, the man had sent a pack of Plan B contraceptives along with a diamond ring to Kim's LA home, but fortunately, the packages were intercepted by her security. This alleged stalker was later identified by Kim's lawyers as Nicholas Costanza, and in just this year alone, he has already shown up at the reality star's home twice. Once in February and once in May, trying to tell security members at the gate that he was there to take Kim out for dinner. Interesting, but okay. In addition to that, his online presence proved that he had a disturbing obsession with the star. Court documents claim the stalker had previously referred to himself as Kardashian's knight in shining armor. A judge, however, did not feel the same way. He ended up granting a restraining order against Costanza, which ordered him him to stay at least 100 yards away from Kim. Needless to say, this is going to send a strong warning to any other stalkers who want to try and mess with the Kardashians. But we want to hear what you think about this right now in the chat, and while you do that, let's send it over to Mackenzie for some influencer tea on Corinna Cobb. Thanks, Johnny. In David Dobrik's return video to YouTube, he not only shocked fans with the surprise return, but he also exposed how much Corinna Cobb made after 48 hours on OnlyFans, and why it might be time for a career change. Near the very beginning of the video, David flat out asked how much Corinna made on her OnlyFans launch, which she replied a little over one million dollars in 48 hours. But that's not even all. She decided to gamble some of the money for fun and made another $30,000. Clearly this girl's luck is just on another level. During the video, Corinna also showed off her new $400,000 Ferrari. And at this point, I can't even pretend to be shocked. Like Corinna has become a massive streamer as well as huge on YouTube, so it was obvious that she was gonna be making a ton of money from this launch. But just hearing that number, $1 million in two days, it's just mind boggling. It just, you really can't comprehend it. Back over to Johnny. Thanks so much for those updates, Mackenzie. Yeah, I definitely might wanna change jobs too after that. Now let's move on to some feel good news though, shall we? A TikToker named Sean Perez is going viral after he shared the story of a homeless man that he found sleeping on the steps of where he worked. Sean put out a video showing him speaking with the man and letting him know that he would help him out the next day. After telling his employer about the situation, Sean's boss took the homeless man, named Jamie, to go get some food, plus he purchased the man a hotel room for the night. Jamie said to Perez's boss that he had absolutely no identification on him. He had no ID cards, no birth certificate, or even a social security number. Thanks to the goodwill of Sean and his boss though, Jamie was able to get some money much needed identification and continue to live in a hotel room for another week. However, the feel good news doesn't stop right there. After the video had garnered almost 14 million views, a GoFundMe was set up to help Jamie. Currently, the GoFundMe has raised over $32,000, which is impressive considering the fact that the intended goal was only $1,000. This lockdown has been hard for many, physically, emotionally, and financially, but this story truly shows that the kindness of one person can change someone's entire life in a big way. With that though, let's take it to the spill zone so that we can speak more freely about what's happening with Trisha Paytas and David Dobrik. And we are in that spill zone. This is a big fat vat of tea. <laughs> Fat of tea. <laughs> PH. Yeah, we wanted to do this more freely talking about a certain subject because maybe eventually we'll do a podcast where we can actually yeah. have like a full hour where we get to talk about all of this news. And but we're very opinionated, so we like to share that as well. <laughs> we have a lot to say. And usually we get restricted with time. Like people are always saying, Johnny, you talk so fast. And I only have so much time. True. So what's the story here that Trisha Trisha essentially has was saying earlier on Twitter about how like everyone is like deserves a comeback or everyone should mm. be able to make a comeback. Because they tweeted about David Dobrik coming back. Because if you didn't already know, we kind of didn't say it. David Dobrik made his first return video to YouTube last night or two nights yeah, ago. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't that long ago. I think it was, yeah. it, it's already it was got a, a ton of views on of it. Of course. It was but, a shock. No one had Yeah, it. yeah. It just came out of nowhere too. But like I was saying on that video as well, I was like, if you've never heard about any of the David Dobrik controversy stuff, the content is still good. Like the video is still funny. Yeah, yeah. But that's what makes it like so difficult is like we need to, it's like, yeah, he's back. We but need to hold him accountable. And in the video, video yeah. if you guys saw it there's a literal dangerous stunt in the video yeah, where yeah. one of the I think Todd is like uh they have him on the ground and he's being pushed by a go-kart not go-kart a golf cart literally so he could get run over so easily and we're like didn't you just almost kill your friend that there's a lot wrong with it and, and then on top of that they uh, sort of address the controversy in the beginning where yeah. like Jason Nash's mom is like oh, I had to take Xanax because of you and, and then they could just kind of like laugh it off and then it just continues yeah. very weird but into the Trisha stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was so gonna say. they tweeted basically, oh, I'm so happy that David's back, something along those lines, and we're all like, you literally canceled him! 
You were the reason, you and Ethan, that he's canceled. Like I can't even, what? On top of that though, they also were saying like, uh, like trying to make amends with Gabby Hanna after ripping mm. into Gabby Hanna too. So it's a, someone else too, uh, or maybe I'm wrong there. Yeah, maybe it was Shane Gabby Dawson as Shane well. Shane Dawson, like, yeah, they tweeted with Shane Dawson. <laughs> so, eh, it is too much. Do we think trolling are serious? I think trolling for sure. I think they even said later it was just a troll. I think paid is, is just trolling because- Queen um, of troll, literally. Queen of trolling, it's like, what are you gonna do? That's how they get attention and that's how Paytas has been getting attention for many yeah. years. So, I mean, at this point, I, I keep doing this because I don't know what else it's to like, say why about would, it. It's why like, would it change? Why would Trish ever change? I mean, there's really no reason to because they're still getting all this attention, so. And if yeah. you're not focused on the negativity and you're in your own echo chamber of like, well, people are viewing me, so. Mm -hmm. I hate, that's why I hate that saying of like, like good or bad, it's all good publicity, like doesn't matter. It's like, no, sometimes bad publicity is just trying to hold yeah. you accountable for it's your It's taking a massive hit on Gabby Hanna, so not all good publicity. Yeah, not all publicity is good publicity. <laughs> just That's look at Gabby Hanna. Guys, let us know below. Do you think Trish is just trolling? Do you think they're serious? Do you think this is just ridiculous to try and get back on frenemies? Uh, let us know below. Let's hear it. Yeah. Either way, guys, that has been today's show. But before we get out of here, let's check out some of your comments from our last weekly roundup. All right, Unwanted Room says, hasn't Shane broke his silence like eight times? Uh, yes, he keeps posting on stories, Instagram stories, more yeah. than I've ever seen with that creepy font. If you guys, like that just triggers me, the font that he uses. I hate it. I literally always. I, I feel like it's been so many times we need like a punch card at this point. Like, yeah. You know, like the tenth time the chain. Like just returns. come back. Just come back at this point. Seriously, David Dobrik did it. He's and made a video. He's actually doing okay. He so. actually never left. He was all on Facebook the whole time. True. So that's the tea. Garnett ninety seven says the Kardashians need to get over themselves like we already know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they're just addicted to Photoshop at this point. Yeah, I don't think they'll ever be changing though. I mean, they're just too good at too being good. them, honestly, if they get yeah. so much attention. Then BG Panda says, I've said it before, but just remind you guys that I love the weekly roundup. Thank you so much. We really hope you love this kind of newer format. I guess this really isn't new. This is our old format. Old format. Kind of coming back. Las Caviotas BC says, first time subscriber and loving it already. Thank you for these brief news. I love you guys. Oh, we love we you. Love Thank you for that perfect comment. Then Agnes Mina says, oh, well, the Kardashians can't even keep up with them. So I love this comment. That is a fact. That's also the best comment I've ever heard, but it's so a fact at this point. By the way, guys, that has been today's show. Big thanks to Mackenzie Smith and our editing guy, Danielle, for all of her hard work. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers. And I'm Mackenzie Smith. And until next time, stay classy, YouTube. Bye, guys. Or at least try. Or at least try. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but this story truly shows that the kindness of one person can change someone's life in an... One more time. But this story truly shows that this... Fourth time's a charm. Gabby. Oh my god. Yeah. Old T with a new. Uh, I was trying to call him. So <laughs> I was but like, where are you going with that? I'm not, I'm not always. I'm not always clever on the spot. <laughs>